Morning everybody, James Blackwell's JB Commercial Finance. It is Tuesday the 2nd of March 2021. It's the budget tomorrow and the most anticipated budget for a long time, certainly since I can remember, um, since the financial crisis I would say. And while there's lots of things that may or may not be going on, um, there's very little point in me talking about anything other than the possibility of um, the government loan schemes and, and what sort of impact they potentially could have on you as a small business owner or people you know. Um, there's a couple of options really for Rishi Sunak, and I've been through them in the past, touched upon them in various videos, but I'll sort of summarise here. The first thing you could do is extend the current scheme. So bounce back loan, the Sybil's loan and the large Corona business loan scheme. And it's, they've been extended already a couple of times, currently end of the month. It could be extended again quite easily. And that's, I suppose, the um the easy option for the government. The infrastructure is in place already. Extend the schemes. You can say we're continuing to help people. There are around about 30,000 bounce back loans um, agreed last month. So the, the flow is still there of deals being done. And extending those would cause relatively little hassle for the government. Um, the alternative is what I suppose we call Sybil's 2. Goodness knows what it would be called. And that's a, a kind of a bastardised scheme which puts a bit more onus and emphasis on on the borrower of the money uh, and the lender for their credit underwriting the bounce back loan currently does but also has an element of government support now the current sort of thinking is that that's likely to be a scheme along those sort of lines and it'll likely as i've said for months and months and months go along the route of the enterprise finance guarantee scheme which is a long-standing government loan scheme which was previously known as a small firms loan guarantee scheme which guys like myself who worked in the finance industry for you know, 20 20 odd years I've unfortunately had a lot of dealings with in the past and this is a loan which is underwritten exactly the same way as a normal application to a bank and there's a government guarantee for a certain proportion of the outstanding loan balance on acceptance but like with a lot of other loans there's also um <coughs> excuse me there's also the, the liability from the client so a guarantee would have to be signed so it's kind of a little bit like Sybil's with a personal guarantee, no matter what. That's generally the, the difference. And um, I think that kind of scheme on paper is exactly what is needed. The reality is that the Enterprise Finance Guarantee Scheme is an absolute, was an absolute pain in the backside for everyone involved in it, which is why majority lenders have moved away, because the government tried to get out of paying all the guarantees. The banks at first lent the money quite sort of willy-nilly, because 80%, well, I think it's 75% was guaranteed by the government. But then it got very tight and said, we're not going to do any at all. And it all got a little bit political, went a little bit wrong. So if something's going to happen along those sort of roads, it needs to be ironed out very, very smoothly. So we'll find out what happens tomorrow. I think they're the two kind of probabilities, an extension of the current scheme or a new scheme in line with the EFG scheme. I'm struggling to see anything else huge come out of it. There's talk about people campaigning for debt relief for people who have taken out loans. There's absolutely no chance of that with the amount um, of lending involved to these schemes you know total government liability down around about 60 billion so let's wait and see um hopefully this has been useful to you any questions about this scheme or any other lending give me a shout thank you very much